Here we are. It's um, Tuesday afternoon, 3 o'clock. It's the 31st of uh, May, 2016. Hardest van Pletsen with a group of very cool people here. Stock Market College. Yay, come on. Yay! Yay! Uh, we're doing a bit of a sales training video on uh, the question, have you ever traded uh, the financial markets or the stock market? So I'm going to draw a little grid here so that I can have a starting point. And I'm only going to draw, it looks like a cross, you know, for the religious people. Um, and I'm going to, all the religious people are laughing. I'm going to put a number one there, that's a, a number one. Because the very first question that you ask someone when you meet them, doesn't matter if you meet them at the Braai, or if you meet them at uh, the Chesan Yama, or if you actually have an appointment, the first thing that you want to find out is you want to say to people, have you traded uh, the financial markets before? Yes. Have you traded the stock market? Have you traded the financial markets? Now, one of the things that you'll see here that I do differently to before, as I now start using the words financial markets, up until a day or two ago, I did all my training and said to people, have you traded the stock market? Yes. I'm changing it to financial markets because our clients can trade Forex, they can trade CFDs, they can mm -hmm. trade single stock futures. They don't have to just trade shares. Mm -hmm. So, here comes the first magic. Chopper pilot stuff, Einstein, you guys won't get it right really hard. When I ask people this question, have you traded the financial markets? How many answers can they give me? Two. 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 Yes or no? Are you sure? Yes. Is that your final answer? Yes. You don't want to phone a friend. No. <laughs> Use a lifeline, any of that stuff. So can we agree that the only two answers that someone can give you is they can either say yes, yes. Or, no. or no. Everyone there? Yes. Okay. All right. <coughs> I'm comfortable, the first one you got right. I bet you the next one. <laughs> the next one is even harder than this one. Yeah. Okay. So here's my question. We all agree that you can only get, yes, I've traded the financial markets, or no, I've not. Which one of those two do you think you'll get most often? No. No, no ways. Yes. <laughs> oh, jeez, man, I can't believe it. How much percent? 95 percent. And sometimes even more of the time, the answer that someone will give you is, no, I've never traded the financial markets. Now, I just want to talk about this 95 percent. I want you to grasp something. Do you all clearly understand? That means that for every hundred people that you ask this question to, how many of them are going to say no? 95. 95. 90. 95. 95. 95. I can't believe you got it right. <laughs> because we're clever. It, yes. Uh, because we clever. Yes. But <laughs> let me tell you about the importance of it. We've got an airplane outside, by the way, if you're listening to the recording. That means that 100 people, you know that 95 of that, uh, there's only five that's going to say yes. The other 95 is going to say no. no. Obvious, am I right? Yes. So the very moment when those people say, no, I've not traded, what should your next question be? Why not? Why not? Why not? Everyone there? Yes. Now, here I'm going to teach you a secret. I'm not even going to try and ask you questions because it's too difficult. <laughs> I'm sure you'll just screw it up, so I'm going to coach you. I'm making blocks here. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. You see there's seven blocks. I'm going to challenge you now. I want to tell you that when you say to people, why have you not traded the financial markets, they can only give you one of seven answers. There is no other answer but one of seven answers and of those seven answers six of them is bullshit code words for something else only one of those seven answers are true mm. <laughs> so who wants to help me tell me what do people say when you say to them why have you not traded this, this 
the financial markets. What's the first answer you'll they don't get? Have knowledge. 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 All right. Can I write it in here? Mm. Lack of knowledge. Mm. Now, okay, before we worry about no time or anything else, I just want to speak to you about lack of knowledge a little bit. Mm. What kind of percentage of people do you think will give you this answer rather than any other answer? If it was no, Okay. It's 95. 95. 95 is a better answer than 100. Why not 100? Because if 100 said lack of knowledge, we wouldn't have six other blocks. (laughs) (laughs) So. But you will bring it back to knowledge if you pitch. Of course. Now, Frick Frick is uh, being made famous. His name is now forever for years to come on this video. Um, and, and he is a bit ahead of us. But the reality, what I want you guys to understand when you're listening to this video, when you're watching it, when you are part of this training, you know that 95% of people, 95 out of every 100 that you ask, have you traded the stock market, will say no. And those people, when you ask them why not, 95 of every 100 will say, I know nothing about the stock market. Does that make sure? And when they say, I know nothing, then it's easy for you to summarize it. I'm going to write down, look here, I can even even use an eraser on this thing. I can summarize it here and say, okay, Mr. Client, so what you're telling me here now, the summary is that you have a lack of knowledge. Mm. Everyone with me? And now I can use all my great closing questions and say to the person, so this Lack of knowledge, this is what's keeping you away from the stock market. Correct. Mm. Um, until you don't learn more, you'll never become rich from shares. That's Am right. I right? Yes. Um, this is your stumbling block. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Correct. Yes. All of you with me? Yes. So now that we're comfortable with that, let's talk about the other six blocks. Uh, Audrey is going to make herself famous in this business. <laughs> okay. Audrey? It's time. All right. Do you understand? And I'm not just going to say time. Okay. Someone's going to say to you, I have no time. Now, before you go for further, when they say, I've got no time, those are code words. Mm-hmm. Do you know what code words are? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Do you know a code word is a secret thing you tell someone? You've agreed beforehand, you're going to tell them, ping-pong, and every time you tell them ping-pong, they know some, it, it's a secret conversation. Are you with me? So who wants to guess? If someone says, I have no time, what are the code words that they, they're using that code word, but what are they really saying to you? No, no, I have no knowledge. I don't know how much time you need. People, if you're listening to this video, watching it, I am uh, flawed. (laughs) I have a bunch of geniuses here. (laughs) If if I could swear on the video, I would now tell you it's fucking amazing. (laughs) Okay? So, when anyone sits with you and they say, I've got no time, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to coach you. If anything is important to someone... They make the time. Mm -hmm. There are people who go to the gym two hours a day. Some of you, I can see you don't have the time. I can clearly see some of you don't have the time for the gym. Okay, you do. And that's wonderful. But the gym is important to you, am I right? Yes. The exercise is important to you. The way it makes you feel is important to you. So you make time. What am I trying to say to you without getting too far away? If someone says to you, I don't have the time for the stock market, what they're actually saying to you is, I don't know anything about the stock market. I don't know how much money I can make. And I'm not clever enough to say, I don't know anything about it, so I'm going to use some crappy excuse. I have no time. Are you with me? Yeah. So the very moment... When someone says to me, and I'm going to do the role play with Louis, I'm going to ask Louis, have you ever traded the financial markets? He's going to say no. 
I'm going to ask him why not. And then I want him to say to me, he's got no time. And I want you to see how I handle it. Ready for it? Yes. So uh, let me ask you, uh, Louis, have you traded the financial markets? No. Never before? Yeah, never. Why not? I have no time. Okay. So, Louis, let me ask you, um, how much time do you think it takes to trade on the stock market? I think it's something people must watch the whole day on their PCs. Mm. Okay, that's your impression. Yes. But you don't really know. No. You can't say to me it's five minutes or an hour or five hours or whatever. No. Tell me, uh, Louis, how much do you know about the stock market? Do you really want to know? Yes. <laughs> I think it's a minus. Okay, so your knowledge is, is a minus. You, you, you don't know anything. No. So can I say that your real problem is a lack of knowledge? Mm. Yes. That's what's keeping you away from the stock market. Am I right? You, you 100% right. You don't understand how much money you can make there, do you? No, not at all. You don't know how it works? No. As you sit there, you don't even know what is the opportunity that it can offer you. I don't know. Let me ask you, if you make a lot of money from the stock market, would you then be happy to spend time on it? Definitely. You with me? Yes. So time is, time is not the real reason. It's an, it's an excuse. It's code words for saying, I don't know enough about the stock market to justify any time that I'm going to spend on it. Are you all with me? No. Any questions on that? Who's unclear, who wants to know more? Ask me the questions now so that we make this video valuable for other people. Who, who's got any question or comment? Anyone? All right, if you're watching the video, I'm either bloody good or these people are stupid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go to the next reason because as you can see, there's still one, two, three, four, Five boxes to complete. Risk. risk. I'm scared about risk. Okay. I'm going to put it in this block here. I'm scared of the stock market. But you're going to lose a lot of money. Or I think it's risky because I can lose money. Mm -hmm. Everyone there? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can I tell you the secret up front? Anyone who tells you that rubbish, that response is code words for I don't know anything about the stock market. So, I'm going to make Davi famous for years to come on this video. I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to do a role play with Davi. I'm going to ask him, have you traded the financial markets? He's going to say no. I'm going to ask why not. Uh, he's going to say it's risky. He's going to lose money. And I, I want you to see how I handle it. Everyone there? Ready? Yes. So, uh, Davi, have you traded the financial markets? Never before. Uh, why not? Well, I think it's a risky situation because I heard about people that, that lost a lot of money on the stock market. Okay. Uh, I, I'm with you. I've also heard of people that lost a lot of money. Tell me, Davi, have you heard of people making money? Yes, I did. Okay. In your own mind, why do you think some people make money and some people lose money from shares? Because I think the people that makes money knows more about the stock market and the people that don't have money. Okay. So if you know what, what you're doing, you can make money from shares. Yeah, I believe so. So here comes my question. I just want to tell you that's Brian Lekalakala's uh, phone making the noise. Um, or someone else's. So let me come back to my closing question with Davi before you lose the very important thing. So Davi, you've heard of people making money. Yes. In your own mind, why do some people make money and others lose money? Because I think they've got, they know more about the stock market to make certain decisions. Okay, so let me ask you now, Davi, how much do you know? No, I don't, nothing about the stock market. So with the little you know now, are you going to become rich from shares? No, no. Are you going to be able to do it? No, I would be scared. So is it safe for me to say that you actually have a lack of knowledge? Definitely. And until you don't learn more, of course you will run the risk of losing money. Absolutely. Everyone there? Yes. How simple is that? Mm. Lots of people are scared of the stock market. As a matter of fact, it is normal for them to be scared of the stock market. When you get that answer, that is normal. 
You should expect 